information processes and think about the relationship between their behaviours and its consequences. So making a decision, what are the trade-offs, what are the benefits, what are the negatives. If I do this, what will happen? Do I want to do that? Why do I want to do that? Social learning theory is often described as a bridge between the traditional theory, i.e. behaviourism, and the cognitive approach. So some things we touched on tonight, the state talks about the bridging area and the link between the two. So about social learning theory. Within the constraints of the environment, individuals behave according to how they have learned by observing others. Right. So I've been touched on tonight, viewing others, observing others in certain ways, you learn from them. The idea of context is putting that if you have a pair of siblings, how much quicker does the younger one develop than the other one? Learn off the brothers or the sisters, all the brothers, etc. Learn from what they're doing. <coughs> individuals do not automatically observe their behaviour on the model and imitate it. Yeah, again, talking about looking at trade off why should I do it? What are the benefits? What are the negatives? There's some thought prior to imitation. This consideration is called the mediation processes. This occurs between observing the behaviour, the stimulus, and imitating it or not. If I see something, there's a process that goes on, a cognitive approach, that link between behaviours that we've talked on earlier, of why I should do something, what are the trade offs again? So there's four mediation processes. The first one attention. We observe many behaviours on a daily basis. And many of these are not noteworthy. Attention is therefore extremely important where the behaviour is influence on others and imitating it. We see things happen all day. Driving the car, at work, watching TV, sat to tea, whatever, we see things. The things that stand out and get your attention, bang, attention, that's something you might go and want to observe, replicate, mimic. Attention, how well is the behaviour remembered? The behaviour may not be noticed, but it's not always remembered with the obvious, which obviously presents the imitation. So you might see it, you might remember it too well. That's going to prevent you from imitating, mimicking it, repeating that action. Reproduction. This is the ability to perform the behaviour that the model has just demonstrated. We see much behaviour on a daily basis that we would like to be able to imitate, but this is not always possible. We are limited by our physical ability, and for that reason, even if we wish to reproduce it, we may not be able to do so. On my contest, I look at that and think, a sporting idea. If you watch the Olympics, you can't help but be inspired and think, that's brilliant, it's fantastic. But you sat in your settee with your second glass of wine in your third degree. <laughs> I'm not going to go down the list and start some sort of so I can't. Okay? So I see it, I remember it, I see the process and all they're doing. There's no chance I'm going to do it triple clear anytime soon. <laughs> Motivation. The rewards and punishment that follow a behaviour will be considered by the observer. If the perceived reward outweighs the perceived cost, if there are any then the behaviour will be more likely imitated by the observer. So yet again, weighing up that cognitive approach, that thought process of, you know, I've seen it, what are the benefits, is there any benefits, cost, etc. That should be an overall sort of overview of what the theory is and underpinning the theory there. Should we have a short video now? Yeah, we shall. Yeah. Um, so we're going to discuss the Bobo doll, but that's already been covered in the others. Yes, sorry, so there must be a slide missing. There's a Bobo doll experiment yeah. which Bandura obviously covered in as a part of the experiment. Uh, Bandura himself and a couple of colleagues with a doll um, performing, uh, striking the doll or strangling the doll or hitting it with a hammer with infants watching uh, by television. Results are quite astonishing, really, that both replicating, mimicking positive and negative sort of behaviours towards the doll. When a child is sometimes being friendly with it, playing with the doll, having a tea with the doll, you know, playing doll's houses, etc. And some striking the doll, strangling the doll, and amazingly hitting it up with the hammer, mimicking these behaviours. If you put that contest into a wider picture and think about how we mimic behaviours when we're seeing things, it's uh, quite astonishing. Yeah, my sort of thoughts on it are that I, it, it doesn't have to all be sort of an, a negative sort of stance on that observed behaviour. It can be positive yeah. as well. So there were some experiments with the doll that they um, 
they, they played tea with the doll and they were nice mm. to the doll. So, um, so to that leads on to this, having a look at this clip and looking at how others can affect how you behave. So I'm just going to let some people come in that have got to <laughs> shut out because we've started. Would you like to uh, just come right. in and while we get the clip started? I thought it was going to be part of an experiment. <laughs> 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 That's what's going on. <laughs> Here's a kid at start. These folks who are entering, the man with a white shirt, the lady with a trench coat, and subsequently one other member of our staff, will face the rear. And you'll see how this man in the trench coat... <laughs> everybody else to be not the normative influence and then there's the other one which I think I do quite often is you sort of think oh do they do they know something I don't know um you know why are they going in that, that, that direction why are they sort of doing that in that way is it better than what I know so um that is that they believe they believe the group is better and that's the in, in, informal informational influence in that so <laughs> okay, so examples of social learning, just to think about it in sort of bigger society. In modern society, where could behaviours be learned 
using social learning theory. So just have a minute, if you just take a minute on your tables to have a think about, have a think about where we learn behaviours um, and we'll walk around and uh, just see how we're getting on.
Yeah. So have a, have a quick minute to just have a discussion again, and then we'll, um, we'll just bring it together. Observational learning. So when we are doing our jobs and teaching our students, we're modelling what we expect them to see and we're doing what we want them to do. So I've got a little bit of a task for you all that's on your table. Because through observational learning, like Tom said earlier, the model will display, you will remember and then you will do layman terms. So, the task in the middle of your table, we've got some signs. So I'm going to sign and do some Lakaton signs with you. And from watching me as the model, then you're going to do and retain, and then you're going to then show me that you've done it. So it's again, observational learning. Are we ready? Yay! Yay! Happy! <laughs> so you see it, you're watching, you're remembering, you're doing. Happy towards you. Happy. <laughs> happy. 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 Stroking a cat. Let's think we're happy. Happy. <laughs> cross. Cross. You're bringing them up, you cross. So remember all these. The next one, you're sad. Each time I'm doing one, you'll remember them, you'll store it, and you'll think about it, and you'll be able to remember me watching. What are we doing? It's sad. Safe. Keeping you safe. Are we all safe? Are we all happy? We're not sad. Surprised. We're quite shocked and surprised. <laughs> See you in a little bit. There's a model. And then we are excited. Okay? Claire, come on, show me what sad is. <laughs> you've watched the model, you've remembered, and then you have then produced and performed. Thank you. Thank you. So, by watching people, we learn, which is evident in everything we do, and how we teach our students. So, a few examples are the nursing background, you watch, you learn, you do. 
Again, teaching background. You watch, you learn, you do. And again, the sporting background, Tom. You watch, you learn, repetition, you do. Observe, done.